Oh, I got two on me. That's okay. Uh, debuff. Uh, big uh, debuff. Big debuff. Big oh, debuff. Right. Okay. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. Finish. Good shit. I got He's good. rooted. He's rooted. Finish. Good shit. Okay. Debuff. Big debuff. Big debuff. Healer. On the healer. Stun. I got big red. Big red. Kill. Nice. He's rooted. He's rooted. Finish. On you. On you. Oh no, maybe like two. Nice bits, Jetty. Hi. Cool. Let's give this guy some love. What's going on, gamers? It's Jetty. So, with the recent increase of players to New World, OPR, Arena, and actually all types of PvP has been on high demand. Well, this means that the PvP salt forming business has been booming lately. <laughs> so, I have a couple of clips for you guys today with my spear hatchet, you know, facing several challenges. And as usual, I'll do my best to explain the fights. I hope you guys enjoy these clips. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate your support. Alright, so we start with a nice 1v1. Um, and this guy does get stuck in an animation and ends up dying due to my bleeds. Um, so we move on to the next clip, a uh, nice uh, 1vx. So let's see how many we can actually get, uh, we can kill in this uh, encounter. Um, all right, so whenever you guys ha are facing a melee, a mix of melee and range, always go for the melee first. Um, in this case, I managed to apply some nice debuffs, get the kick into a nice feral rush. Very good, good kill, good execution. So at this point, um, you know, because we have only uh, range, what we want to do is we want to reposition ourselves, make sure that, you know, we get a nice heal before we uh, go back into the battle. Um, so this guy does manage to put up a, 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 a nice door, but um, I managed to also get inside. So we are right after the musket guy. He is out of stam. Apply the kick and the debuffs. He's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Very good. Okay, so now we're facing the bow spear. Nice exchange of blows. Um, but I do manage to get the kick into a nice skewer, chase the guy, finish him off with a perforate. Beautiful job, beautiful execution. That is three down so far. Let's see what else we can get. And it does look like we get the reinforcements, so we're just gonna continue to chase these guys. Um, okay, so nice ice block on my perforate, uh, but we continue the chase. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, we see a blunderbuss guy just trying to surprise me with some nice burst. Uh, but you know what? At this point, the battle has kind of like stabilized. Um, I do see that, that there are some friends out there that are trying to snipe him. So I just go in, apply the debuffs, and with the assist of the other guys, I managed to get the kill for a total of four kills. Beautiful job. All right, so uh, this guy was actually chasing us, and there was a couple of bows on me as well. So I just have to pull away for a little bit. And at this point, I just go ahead and manage to land a kick, explode with a bunch of debuffs, and look at him. I almost drop him to 30%. So he wants to uh, exchange a couple of blows, but with the bleeds and the infected throw, he is not able, he's not gonna be able to out damage me, and I do manage to get the kill. And that's exactly what I always say, guys. You know, when you have full debuffs on your enemies, don't be afraid to exchange blows, you know, they are not going to be able to out DPS you Even if you're in light and they're in heavy, alright, so just get used to that Alright, so this actually here is very important um, Whenever you guys are facing somebody using the blood tree in the rapier um, Always avoid the, the flourish and finish Look at here, exactly, when he comes in with that menacing look Always make sure that you have a dodge safe for that. As long as you can stay away from that flourish and finish, um, you guys will be just fine. Okay, so we have another nice uh, 1vx encounter here. Um, always go back, always go for the back line, guys. Stay away from the clump, that is not your forte. So we get a nice kill, um, we get a nice proc here on this hatchet guy. We see that there's a clump, and whenever you guys are ready to move away, always don't move don't move away from the club move towards the club like you guys see here so and why is this because there's always you know if you guys are moving away from the club there's going to be just a bunch of range uh you know players shooting at you but if you move towards the club 
you know, most guys will just ignore you, all right? And what ends up happening is there's only going to be two or three chasing you, uh, like in this case. So we go around, we see this guy, we chase, and we do a nice combo of a light attack roll into an ability. He is unable to move away from that, and we do manage to get a kill. Um, so we have another uh, three guys here that we're facing. We have the mage chasing us. We kind of like want to see what he's made of. We test him a bit, but now we realize that we have a melee. Again, always go for the melee. Uh, he jumps right into our face. We apply the debuffs. We get a nice kick into a Feral Rush. Classic for the kills. Um, so at this point, we have three range guys trying to kill us. So what do we want to do? We want to reposition ourselves, move away from the zone of danger, just you know, do our best to survive, evade as many hits as we can, uh, try to get as many pots as we can and I do see here that there's a musket guy somewhere or a bow shooting at these people so this is the perfect uh, opportunity opportunity for me to improvise a nice front line and let the bow and the range do their work while I try to do mine perfect so we start um, with the bow guy we know he's running low con we go for the debuffs a nice kick into a feral rush Beautiful, beautiful execution, classic. Now we have a melee. He is a bruiser, he's got nowhere to go. And with the help of the range, we managed to get those, those nice three kills. Excellent, excellent. All right, guys, finally, I want to show a couple of clips of uh, 1v1s versus bruisers. And, um, you know, just kind of like want to show exactly what I mean by, you know, bruisers, you know, always having an advantage over them. Uh, if you guys see here, uh, this guy is actually using all of his abilities. And it does seem like he's winning the match in the beginning. But, you know, once he runs out of abilities, you know, my abilities always come back pretty quick. And, you know, what I do is I manage to apply the debuffs. I'm patient enough. I wait until he runs out of abilities. I go for the kick into the Feral Rush very easy. And so here we have another nice showcase of what it's like to fight a bruiser. You see this guy is using, again, all of his abilities. He's doing the best he can. Um, you know, look at that. Path of Destiny into a flattening. But, you know, he runs out of abilities. I apply my debuffs. And look, my abilities come way much faster than his. And what happens is I get a kick into either a skew work, a nice feral rush, and little by little we manage to, uh, you know, uh, win the fights. So again, you just have to be patient. You just have to make sure that you time your stuff, um, you know, and then just, just know, you know, just trust your skill, trust your ability. Um, all right, guys. Um, so I think I will be uh, leaving you uh, with this last clip. Um, if you guys like what um, what you see here, if you guys like my content, um, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, drop some comments. Let me know what else, uh, what other type of PvP, PvP content you guys want to see. Um, and I hope to see you guys again on my next video. Peace.